Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is issue 102 of Mini Trucking Magazine. This is June 2000. You have Grampy's truck on the cover. A guy named Randy that we'll talk about um, as we get into this issue. The Toyota Roadster, of course, it's got graphics on it looking awesome. And uh, the owner is driving the truck. Wes Allison, 21st credited cover. This was actually the 31st Toyota to be on the cover as a cover truck so far. So if you do the quick math, that's about a third of all trucks are Toyota brand so far, which is insane. This is the sixth cover with KMC wheels uh, from a cover truck perspective. Uh, you have a lot going on here, a very clean cover, so to speak. But you also have plenty of shows and an insert shot right here of a burnout in a topless mini truck. All right, let's jump in. Um, I would remind you as we get going here, if you haven't, check out our lifestyle podcast. Just search OLP via most any podcast app. With the graphic here on the back, it makes it a little bit difficult to to kind of see um, with the black font, but you can see what we got going on there. About six features, plenty of tech and events, summer madness, and Midwest summer nationals. Here you can see SoCal's very own, this was Randy Scott, and I think his nickname was Grampy. And you can see some of the shows there uh, continued. Plenty of good stuff. You got a Toyo Tire ad on the left. Uh, please comment if you can, and uh, let us know what you think. Appreciate all the support. You can see Lance's editorial there, show and go performance. And uh, appreciate you guys watching these all the way through. We did hit monetization finally, uh, which has been a goal of ours. You have to get a certain amount of subscribers. You also have to hit a certain amount of hours watched. Certainly not easy, but uh, thank you to everyone. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. This uh, 95 Blazer, super clean, always like this one, uh, out of the Midwest, and uh, I think the guy's name was Sean that owned this thing. Th this might be the one I always think of that had the Envoy grill for the first, uh, the, there was one, it was either this one or some, one uh, another one that was around here, or at least came to one of the shows around here. Envoy S obviously ties into that Envoy front end. And uh, around this era, you started to really see people doing the front end swaps. Not saying that they weren't done prior, because they were. But uh, it became very, very big on uh, swapping to some of the higher end models, if you will. Uh, in terms of the trim packages, or like in this case, an Envoy. Uh, but uh, super clean. Again, these are a little bit underrated, I think, these two-door blazers. Um Mini truckers, we loved our four doors, but uh, this thing was super clean and uh, looks damn good there on the billet specialty Phantom Wheels classics for sure. Uh, definitely appreciate all the support, like I said, uh, to get to this point. I've got a lot in store. I've got some things I haven't edited yet, but I think you're going to see us continue to build the channel out here and uh, we wouldn't be where we're at without all of the viewers, even if you've only come here a couple times. So you can see... This is the topless mini and um, looking good. I think it's a Mazda, right? It's kind of hard to tell. I guess tailgate kind of gives it away. And you can see there adding in some nitrous, right? A rally, seeing some of the older wheel ads. It's kind of cool how some of those wheels are etched in our minds. Uh, seeing guys talk about them and whatnot. Here's Spooky's 85 Nissan King Cab. And then you have Pete Zeland's 92 Extra Cab Unibody. Thing was super clean. I always remember this one from the hood. And I want to say that I did see this one in person, I think. Maybe I'm thinking of some photos. I can't remember some of these trucks running together in my head, but that uh, thing is sick. Uh, Summer Madness, one of those shows that 
certainly always had some badass stuff going on. Mitsubishi, Mighty Max, Forbidden. Speaking of Forbidden, they have their show every year around the March time frame. Forbidden Show and Shine. The Look That Kills, when it was in Subversive. Joe Bernardo, which we saw recently. You can see the Chop Shop on there. Joe's building a new mini truck, or another mini truck, uh, which is cool. And in much respect to Joe. Barry Badass. Now, this truck was at a good amount of shows back then. I remember hearing that it was at Spring Fling, I think one of the years, maybe even when I was there. But uh, Barry has built a couple of cool things. Barry True Love, uh, pretty good name for Valentine's Day, which was uh, yesterday, this week, I should say. And um, this thing was pretty sick. Uh, you didn't see a lot of these laid out. There were a handful. Uh, of course, Rep and Severed. The, uh, he built this. He built a badass forerunner that was featured, I know, in street trucks. And I think Barry might have a Lincoln now, if I remember correctly. But he's always built some pretty cool stuff. And uh, this is one of the first things that comes to mind. Severed. And you could see, I believe this is, you can see here Atlanta Motor Speedway. So Lance shot this. You can see kind of, this would have been the infield, obviously. Um, but uh, if you've been there, you kind of know some of the, the stuff that's there. It looks like turn three. So, you know, naturally they would have uh, found places and, and areas in there to shoot the, the rides at uh, more than likely Nopi. Midwest Summer National, so Killer S10 that we've seen recently, Sonoma. Lots of cool stuff. We will see more of this S10 here in the very near future. I think that was the Unibagger that we saw recently. I think that was it. Maybe that was in Graffiti. Toyota, I mentioned, I remember seeing the Tacoma and a super clean S10 with a nice big wheel on the back. Dude, this look right here is perfect. And a little bit more there continued. Now, I will be expanding some of the content here in the next month or two as far as YouTube. Uh, I've got some ideas in store. So be on the lookout for some updates. Uh, I would suggest if you can hit the bell notification. But uh, if you're a YouTube faithful person like I am, I'm pretty much on YouTube every day uh, in the evenings before I go to bed watching cool stuff. Um, you know, some of the guys are growing their stuff and we're going to continue to do that here with our channel. Okay. This thing was crazy. Butch Hayes's 88 Toyota for anybody that remembers this thing. Kind of that pro street look. But uh, a lot going on with this truck. A, the blown rat motor. Crazy. Twin 750 Hollies. With graphics. Topless. Dude, sign me up. I'm all in on that deal. And we're going to continue, of course, the podcast. So... Uh, there'll be d additional ways to listen to content here on uh, the channel, possibly even early, uh, getting early access to some content and whatnot, uh, but be on the lookout again for more information there. This was the first annual South Carolina Nationals. Here is Midlife Crisis. So this was Randy Scott, a.k.a. Grampy. I always remember that. And uh, this Toyota is sick. A couple things to point out here. Suicide doors, but look at the interior, how nice it is. Super clean engine bay. Oh, by the way, all inside the bed, completely done. You can see the tonneau flips backwards, you know, so it's kind of reversed there. A lot going on stereo-wise. Check that out. Super clean interior. I like how they left the top uh, with the dash pad. Looks like stock and then everything beneath it including the center console was tweed and i believe this was doug starbuck yeah starbucks right here uh, i was chatting with doug the other day he went through a surgery and uh doug starbuck is a, a true legend in our scene we've had him on the podcast of course first uh 
Mini Truck to be on the cover twice for Mini Truck and Magazine. But look at this write-up. Again, I mentioned this with Rob Scepter, rest in peace, how Rob's write-up. You know, to me, that was always a cool thing. And being able to have this awesome photo, but also have the text kind of wrap around this way. You know, no easy feat, you know, back in those days, potentially with, with the tools they're working with. But uh, certainly um, gave, you know, gave additional content for the story itself. And... Uh, was complimented with some very, very nice photos. Again, super nice. You can see all the stuff going on there in the bed. This is a truck I would say, hey, where is this thing now? Um, and shout out to Mini Trucking with one word, Mini Trucking, where are they now on Facebook? Uh, those guys are a good bunch of kinfolk. They have dug up a lot of cool stuff. But like a truck like this, I mean, you would hope that this guy still has it tucked away in his garage. But um, yeah, I mean, who knows? Super sick. I mean, I just look at this and go, man, suicide doors with the roll cage deal in there. Man, I dig it. What do you guys think of this cover truck? I, I look back and say, man, th this is one definitely that deserved a cover. Phantom grill, just, just a lot of perfect stuff going on here. And it makes it a little easy. Well, the font was a little smaller with this one. But um, going through all of the content, typically you can you can find some stuff pretty quick. But you see right there at the very top, 17-inch KMC Tarantula. That's what I wanted to get at. That is a KMC wheel. Since I mentioned this was the sixth cover slash cover truck, rather. Um, you know, some covers have multiple trucks. Um, but uh, basically the sixth cover truck, if you will, that had KMC wheels. And shout out to... Wes Allison, the OG, man. I mean, racking up cover after cover after cover. We are certainly not done talking about Wes, a true OG. Bill Thompson, the cutting edge. And uh, more tech. Obviously, they could run this kind of tech in, in a lot of different publications because it was a big thing. Um, you know, still a big thing. I had to do one of those in my Lincoln. Electric fan. Okay. This is ironic that we're going through this issue. This is Ryan Leonard, and at the time of this recording, it's February 15, 2023. We found out yesterday that he had passed away, I think, late the night before, I believe, technically. That was Ryan Leonard's truck, and I just... It's so odd that, that we're seeing this now. I had spoken to Ryan a couple of times per, in person, and he always appreciated that I would bring up this uh, Project Pathfinder, uh, the rendering appeared in the first Street Trucks issue. I actually just posted that yesterday. And um, that was his truck right there. Um, he never, it never manifested past that. But um, as far as I know, you know, I talked to him about it. It didn't get finished, but rest in peace, Ryan. Or excuse me, West, rest in peace, Ryan Leonard. Let me say it correctly, Ryan Leonard. So here you go, Tuck Lugs. Seen that one in person, of course, when Randy owned it. Now Chris Schmidt owns it. And this was a severed member. I forget if this was Airbrush Chris or one of his buddies. But uh, you can see everything going on. Alter Ego, famous orange Toyota. Severed here. Got the van dipping. And one of my favorite photos, look at look at this dad, or excuse me, look at this door panel. I mean, isn't that just a, I mean, that, that door panel is just awesome, isn't it? Right? Yeah, right there. Exactly. You get what I'm getting at. Okay. Let's try to bring a little levity. Is that the word to some of these things? Okay, this truck changed hands, I believe, a ton of times. The Daily Grind. I always remember this thing. Liked the front end, liked the wheels, liked a lot about it. Super clean. Uh, my son's, one, one of my, I think my son's very first truck show was in 2006, maybe. And uh, I have a photo of him in front of this truck. And uh, yeah, it changed hands. I think at that time, a guy named Ross from Georgia owned it. Uh, it's one of those trucks that's kind of, 
I mean, as far as I know, uh, multiple people have owned it, but it's, it's a solid truck. And you think about 20 years later, it's still around. Well-built truck, in my opinion, as far as what I know. Here you have Ultra Images. The first annual Truckin' Nationals, the show was something for everyone. So this was severed out in Vegas. Remember hanging out with the homie? The Mazda, super clean. The Nissan, th this was always a cool setup. I remember seeing that photo. Some different things. There's the cover Nissan. I think this is the one that someone said is no longer a truck. God, I hate hearing that. Uh, and this thing we did see in coverage. This one always kind of threw me off because I assumed this turned to Tangerine Dream. But maybe it didn't. Again, some of the trucks I can rattle off. I know what went to what, but sometimes it does get a little confusing or something looks the same. Or maybe it's the wheels. Uh, this always looked pretty good. The Jetta. And now I have gotten requests from people uh, to go through trucking, and those are going to be tough. I did get them all organized recently. Check out this concept. Um, I remember, funny enough, a one-off promo. I think trucking featured this, or they did a write-up on it, and it was Greg the Shark Norman. They were, I guess, going to develop something, and... Um, Kind of weird, but I, believe it or not, God, I had forgotten about that. I do remember that. KMC wheel, check out that wheel ad. Like no other. Did they just, was that like some sort of deal? Blackout? Or was it by accident? Kind of crazy. But seriously, rest in peace, Ryan Leonard, man. Dude, I can't believe somebody, I believe, said he was 54, 55 years old. Um... A lot of just positive comments from people saying he was one of the hardest working guys and his, I think he did pools and backyards and stuff. Just a, a total loss, you know, to his, to his friends and family uh, and, and all the club mates there and severed along, you know, in the club that I'm in, you know, wish you guys the best during this very tough time, especially for his family. Slim Shady, explicit version and some movie quotes. Speaking of some movies, I was digging up some cult classics from the 80s and 90s, and I'm going to do a post on them soon. So make sure you, uh, you're you following us on Facebook or Instagram, Our Lifestyle Podcast. So check out this 89B2200, Mike, C-A-R-R-I-E-R-O, looking dope, billets, slammed, sign me up. Again, here's the Ford Ranger that was on the cover of May 99 when Rob Scepter's truck was featured. For Pride and uh, Super Nice. This was Elizabeth Short E. M O I S E. I always say that name wrong. Moise Alou, remember him, the, the, the baseball player? I always say that name wrong, so I'd probably butcher it if I did. I apologize. But, yeah, these were super popular. I'm, I'm sure that those are still popular cars, especially for um, a female. You know, how many females were featured up to this point? Probably not a lot, to be honest with you. Here you got Showfest 2000 that, uh, that we ended up. That was the first one that I went to with my friends, which was epic. Still have videos and photos from that that we haven't. Posted again. Thanks to Mike Self for chiming in. You know he's one of the um, the staff at this point, and uh, has really been tied to the whole scene for a very long time, twenty plus. So shout out to Mike, and and thanks again for chiming in. Rims, you know you're a G if you call them rims. I was watching the Knight Rider Historian uh, channel, which I love. I'm not even the biggest Knight Rider fan, but I just love that channel, and. Um, he was talking about the semi that they own, which was in season from season three and season four. And uh, 
he he was calling the I'll call the wheel I call them wheels. He was calling them the you know they weren't the right rims for the back. And uh, I was thinking that's what Mike calls them rims, rims wheels engine motor you know tomato tomato you get what I'm saying. And this was I don't know if it was the first one but I remember when they started selling slinging bikes, stretched beach cruisers complete. That's a good price. I even thought back then not a bad price. These became super popular. I think Dave Shulman had the one. There was one that eventually came out that had almost like a a pretty bad, like looked like a face or something. It was pretty awesome. I think he had that on Catch-22, I think. But uh, it's always cool to look back at this stuff. You know, it kind of reinforces where we come from. And then when we had Rob on, he talked about Van Diemen painting each individual one of these toilet seats. Isn't that nuts? Can't forget Bobby. Don't sweat the technique. MIC video. Certainly appreciate. Again, if you guys watch all the way through, if you can leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, stay on the rise, y'all. Again, rest in peace, Ryan Leonard. It's crazy. We're losing good people every day, every month, every year. So live life to the fullest and stay on the rise. You know what I mean? Be out here. I'm going to go ahead and post up if you want to subscribe now or click through to the next video. It helps us out. And check that hashtag live life topless. That's the hashtag we're always I'm always posting with. We are cheer. Peace.